In this video, I will show how to make a synchronous multi-phase buck converter. How a synchronous buck converter is different from the normal buck converter? If we look into the circuit, the diode is replaced with a transistor and both the transistors switch in a synchronous way. The low side transistor turns on when the high side transistor is turned off and vice versa. Now, why do we introduce this additional complexity of another transistor in the circuit? I mean, the diode was just working fine. The problem with the diode was that diode has a cutting voltage lying somewhere around 0.3 volt to 0.7 volt. Now, suppose you were going to design a 10 ampere buck converter and the diode has a cutting voltage of 0.5 volt. You will lose 5 watt of power on the diode. This will not only decrease the efficiency, but at the worst case, the diode may blow up due to the thermal runaway. Since power MOSFETs have extremely low on resistance of the order of a few milliohm only, replacing the diode with a transistor saves a considerable amount of power from wasting. I think I could have convinced that the synchronous buck converter is better. But what is this multiphase again? In the multiphase system, more than one converter operate parallelly and share the load equally. The PWM pulses become phase shifted. One major advantage of the multiphase converter is that the frequency of the output voltage ripple becomes the switching frequency multiplied by the number of phases in the system. That means it will be 2FSW in a dual phase converter, 3FSW in a 3 phase converter and so on. And because of the same reason, the input output capacitor values also becomes less as the number of phases increases. Not only that, since the total load current is now shared between different phases, both the ohmic loss in the inductor and the power loss in the switching transistors are also reduced. In this project, I will make a dual phase buck converter. The PWM signal will be generated by an Arduino development board. This PCB I made for my inverter project. I am using these two pairs of MOSFETs in high side low side configurations and the driver ICs in this project to save some money and time. I don't have many things, money is one of them. Rest of the circuit I have soldered in a Vero board. Here I am using two toroidal core 33 microhenry inductors, one for each phase. The PWM signal frequency is 31.37 kHz approximately. So according to this formula, the converter will be operating in CCM if the peak to peak load current goes above 2.8 ampere. Since our design goal is 5 volt 8 ampere, so the inductor value is okay. In the output capacitor, I am using these three electrolytic capacitors in parallel instead of a single one to reduce the electrical series resistance aka the ESR value. ESR is the resistance that inherently comes with capacitors and we want to make it as small as possible because it has a major contribution in increasing the output ripple. Here is a 2 milliohm shunt resistor to sense the output current. LM358 open to amplify the small current sense voltage. I am using timer 1 and timer 2 in PWM phase and frequency correct mode to generate the switching pulses for the four MOSFETs. A 125 nanofarad of dead time is introduced between the high side and low side gate triggers. The gate pulses for both phase 1 and phase 2 are identical, only there will be a 180 degree phase difference between them. To do that, first I am loading timer counter 1 with the counter top value, then loading timer counter 2 with 3. TCNT2 actually should be 0 when TCNT1 is at top value. But 3 is to compensate the time the microcontroller requires to execute the command. This will give an 180 degree phase lead to the phase 1. If the load current is less than 1.5 ampere, the second phase will be shut down. It will be activated again when the load current will be above 2 ampere. For testing, I have connected this variable load circuit in the output of the converter. Let's turn on. Output voltage is OK. Input voltage is 12.72 volt. Now I am increasing the load 0 0.83 ampere. 
only phase 1 is running, phase 2 is off. Twelve point five volt input. Output current two point three ampere. Phase two has been started. Input voltage 12.05 volt. Efficiency is looking good 91 percent. Five ampere output current. Input voltage 11.46 volt, efficiency is 94 percent, pretty impressive is not it. Decreasing current 3 ampere. almost 92 percent efficiency. Phase 2 turned off. Sixty four milliampere is the quiescent current without any load current. Now, I have replaced the variable load with the nichromware. Let us see how much current we can go up to with this setup. 8.9, 8.7 ampere. Output voltage is still 5 volt. Input is 11.38 volt. So, efficiency is 94 percent approx. Input voltage dropped to 11.27 volt. I am using a 12 volt later seed battery which is not even fully charged that is why voltage is dropping continuously. It is really exciting for me with this messy circuit I am achieving 93 percent, 94 percent efficiency. This is the output voltage ripple when running on single phase at 5 ampere load and this is the ripple with same load but running on dual phase. So, clearly you can see how output voltage is much smoother in case of dual phase. Hopefully, in future I will be able to upgrade the load capacity and optimize the performance by designing a small PCB for that. If you wish to learn more about multi-phase DC DC buck converter, you may read through the articles the link of which I have given in the description below. With that being said, it is the time to conclude this video. I would be very happy to know that you have enjoyed this video and gained some interest about the multi-phase DC DC buck converter. If so, please give this video a like and let me know your opinion about this project and any suggestion about my future project in the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. I will come back another day with a new project. Until then, stay happy and feel and enjoy the creative electronics. Bye.